Plex has many, many secrets that you've never heard of and you never would have if you hadn't came to this video today. Yeah, okay. Maybe these aren't super secret secrets about Plex, but they are useful, and to some a little less known, most of which are somewhat unused just because whatever client that people use may or may not support it. Like the Xbox One. So anyway, to try something new out, at least for me, I'm going to go ahead and link these super not so secret secrets in a super not secret secret area on the screen. Plex it. This is an awesome way to kind of bookmark online videos to be watched later on other devices right from Plex. It works like really, really good with YouTube and stuff. You can add this magical little Plex it button to your favorites bar. And when you're on a web page with a video on it, like YouTube, all you have to do is click Plex it and Bob's your uncle. Or Phil. Or actually, I have no idea why people say that. So, yeah. Uh, if you don't know how to get this fancy little button, then go ahead and get into Plex. I'll walk you through it. Once in, you can scroll down and you should see something that says watch later. To the right of that, look for a little circle that has a question mark in it. The next screen, you'll have a button you need and uh, it's bright orange and it actually says Plex it. So go ahead and grab a hold of that button, click down, hold it, and drag it up to your bookmarks bar. Now what? Simple. Hop on over to YouTube, find any video, and click on it. Let's say I want to watch a video by the tech on my big screen. So I'm just going to click on it and then I'm going to click my awesome little Plexit button. Now I can fire up the Xbox and watch the tech in full surround sound. Yes, yes, I, I know that the tech's not surround sound. Okay, just, just calm down. It's a, it's a joke. It's an example. Now, this works well with Plex Home Theater app on something like an HTPC and Xbox One app and I assume many others. Just look for the watch later area. Now, Channels. Okay, channels are like a super secret way to steal content super secretly. Okay, I'm done with the super secret stuff. Uh, maybe not so much stealing as it is subscribing to a free channel approved by the content creators. These channel things can be a little odd sometimes, so don't be surprised if you find a limited amount of content on one or not at all. The whole region thing is kind of weird. Uh, if you do happen to like South Park, however, then go on to your Plex server and I'll walk you through on adding the South Park channel. Click on Channels from the menu on the left-hand side, and then click on the orange button that says Install Channels. From here, you can either browse by category, or because South Park is so awesome, it's super awesome, you can click the most popular. Find the box with your favorite South Park characters on it, and click it. Now, this next step is kind of complicated, so I need you to pay attention, or you might mess it up. Or you can do it the wrong way, and then I don't want to have to go through and undo this all. Are you ready? Click Install. Okay, after that's done, and yes, it can take like 30 seconds or more, you can navigate back to your channels and browse, I think, like all or almost all South Park episodes. You can even bring it up on your HTPC. I try to think of a good reason for someone to use playlists, and the first reason I came up with was for parents to make a playlist for cartoons. You know, so when those little, um, people get up at 4 a.m. on a Saturday, they can just fire up the TV, hit click here and be quiet on the screen, and it'll play eight solid hours of pre-selected cartoons for them to forget about in 30 minutes and proceed to destroy your house. The next reason I came up with is a super secret... Damn. Um, last time, I swear, to make a playlist of music videos for a party. Of course, that is if you legally own said music videos. I'll show you by adding a couple TV shows into a new playlist. So, go into your Plex server and click on any video you have. Once on the video screen, you'll see a super, uh, I mean a less used button on the far left hand side that looks like this. Click it. At this point, I bet you don't have a playlist set up already. So you're going to put your cursor in the box that says new playlist and type something super cool as a name. Afterwards, click add. Now that you got your super cool playlist set up, you actually have to add more content. That's why it's called a playlist. So repeat that process, but instead of creating a new list, click on the name that you just made. 
After you have a few videos set up, you can go check it out on your Plex Home Theater app, or a few other devices that support it, just not all of them. Well, this concludes part one of super not always used or known features of Plex, but don't worry, I've got more stuff waiting for you in part two. So subscribe to make sure you don't miss it, and as always, if you like this super video, please click like. All you have to do is grab that and drag it up to your Plex, or to your, uh... I'm gonna link these super not-so-secret secrets and a super secret not-secret er... <laughs> these super not... <laughs> link all of these super not-so-secret secrets and a super not-secret super secret... <laughs> super not-so-secret secrets and a super not-secret secret area in the screen. <laughs> super not-so... not... <laughs> it's not hard, why do I keep messing it up? So, to try something new out, at least for me, I'm going to link these super not-so-secret secrets in a super not-secret secret area on the screen. Mm, got that shit.